Sri Lanka walked down to Hamilton to take the challenge of co-host New Zealand on February 25 after defeating Zimbabwe after rewriting the history books. Both teams met World Cup in three occasions. New Zealand won two times and Sri Lanka beats them in Derby back in 1983. This is the fifth match of the competition. And New Zealand is at the top. Sri Lanka pushed down to the fourth position by West Indies after their easy win against mighty Pakistan. There was bad news from Sri Lankan camp. Their veteran fast bowler Ramesh Rathna got injured and he has sent home. It leaves some question about Ramesh's physical fitness as he is getting injured more often recently. Another Sri Lankan pace man Graham Labrui joined the squad. Sri Lanka made just one change. Selectors thought to strengthen spin department hence they brought up slow left arm orthodox bowler Don Anuraziri behalf of Kapila Wajguna Ward Hanna. In the highest scoring match against Zimbabwe, Sri Lankan bowlers have given 9 no balls and 13 wides which needs to correct here. On the other hand, New Zealand put their bets on their seamers. They brought up Danny Morrison, keeping out all-rounder Chris Cairns. Even though John Wright and Andrew Jones got out cheaply in the previous match against Australia, they decided to keep their batting line unchanged. After winning the toss, New Zealand captain Martin Crowe invites Sri Lanka to bat first. Sri Lankan regular openers Roshan Mahanama and Athula Samaraskara came to bat first but Athula got himself out cheaply this time after got himself injured. So away we go then, the first ball of this match between New Zealand and Sri Lanka, Morrison to Mahanama. <laughs> Frustration, he went for it, and one bounce down to Patel, at least Jones. Well, that was, he really chased that one, Samasekara, and I think he's hurt himself here too. Looks like the hamstring might have got. Here's the runner making marks on the good shot from Samasekara, and that's going to be the first boundary of the morning. That was a good shot. He didn't have too much room, but hampered by this leg injury, he still hit it very well through the cover boundary. Oh, over the top again, he might be out. He's caught by John Wright. So Sam Rasik is gone. Watson gets the first wicket. It's the sixth over bowl. And Calpert J. Even though he helped to build 32 runs partnership for the second wicket, Vice Captain Asunka failed to cross double figure mark again. Four runs. Well, that's the first drive of the day that's really passed the cover field, certainly off the front foot. There has been one off the back. Ball hooking it away. Good shot by Gurusinger. That'll go away for four. Dropping short, angling down leg side, and four runs. Yeah. Oh, he's nicked it. Loud appeal. And hang on, Mr. Reporter says wait. And he says... Aravinda came next and along with Mahanama he built 70 runs stand for the third wicket slowly but steadily. Chase for Watson and he won't get it. <laughs> Through the gap, there's going to be a big chase there for Latham. He will not even get close to it. Quick outfield. A wee bit of rain that we've had this morning has not slowed the outfield. And so another boundary. Big half volley, and he's uh, got this one away, and that should run away. It's quite quick out there, the boundary, the upfield. So there's the 100 up for Sri Lanka. It's been slow going. They were sent into bat this morning, and they really haven't got the score going at all. But the 100 coming up in the 30th over. And he's got the single here to bring up his 50, Mahanama. He's coming back for two. It might be tight. Willie Watson a little bit slow in getting it back. So two runs to Mahanama, and he brings up his 50s on to 51. Let's have a look at the wagon wheel. Plenty of dabs on both sides of the wicket. Only four, sorry, three boundaries. <laughs> Nicely played by the Silver. A little bit of lift there for Patel, and well, that's run away quickly, hasn't it? Well, that just shows you how quick the outfield is. He didn't seem to put much on that, but it absolutely flew to the fence. This will be tight. He's out. Marvellous play by Chris Harris again. And Aaron.
Dove into the silver, short of his ground, he's run out. 120 for three. Arjuna came next and had 52 runs for the fourth wicket. Yeah, he's got a hold of that one. He got plenty on that, and a clue pass to Willie Watson. Boundary. And hit firmly through the offside by Ramatonga. And Latham concedes a boundary. Ramatonga goes high, wide, handsome, and four. Oh, it's beaten him and it's going to bring up the 150 for Sri Lanka with an edgy shot, which doesn't give Morrison any pleasure at all. Yes. And here's another, well, it's a good shot. It's beaten the field and Ken Rutherford, the sweeper way out there, he can't get round to it. Oh, he swung this away. High, wide and handsome. He's gone. Taken out there by Ken Rutherford. Ranatunga trying to up the right, swung it high, wide and handsome, but not far enough. Sri Lanka starts to collapse after the dismissal of Arjuna. And he's gone, got and bowled. Well, Chris Harris picks that up. His Mahanama goes to drive, he can't keep it down, and Chris Harris takes a very good caught and bowl. Sanath goes next. <laughs> Here's another nudge for a single. Looking for a second, and oh, hesitation. Should be run out. And is, well and truly. Just that a moment's hesitation. Went after it, and got caught. New Zealand skipper takes the catch. Tilakaratni goes for eight. Ramanuka was the third run out victim of Sri Lankan innings. Jay to face. They've had a bit of a chat. He's after it. I think Ramanuka came out and said, look, we really have to get on with this. Ramanuka running for all his worth makes it. Good throw by Morrison. Worked away by Kalpa Jay. There's got to be a run out here. Ramanuka is stranded. Rob Latham fielded cleanly. Ramanayaka running blind really, he didn't look to see where the ball had gone. Kalpa Jay tried to send him back, it was too late. And Ramanayaka is run out. So the last over starting now, Watson. In the air and a chance for a catch. Gavin Larson holds it. Kalpa Jay goes. Good. Locked it away nicely. Now he should uh, get two here. Great batch is cruising around from mid wicket. Lovely flat throw by Mark Great Batch. Watson. It's going to be a scintillating one. So that is the end of Sri Lanka's batting display here at Trust Bank Park. So Sri Lankans have completed their 50 overs after scoring 206 runs with loss of 9 wickets. Even though he batted bit slowly Roshan Mahanama was the highest scorer by crossing half-century mark in back-to-back -back occasions. He has scored 80 runs off 131 deliveries after batting 175 minutes including 6 fours. Arinda and Arjuna gave him some support but rest of the batsmen were not able to score considerable amount of runs. Rowan Kalpage batted well in low order. New Zealand bowlers and fielders did a superb job. Watson and Harris bag three wickets each and their fielders able to get three runouts to put Sri Lanka in difficult situation. So they have to score 207 to win in their 50 overs. It's just above four runs per over. First ball. Ramanaka driving and runs for right and he starts with a boundary. The World Cup's underway for John Wright. Wright goes again over the top three mid wicket. Don't run, John Wright. That's four. <laughs> That's a lovely four. Thank you very much, Mr. Reporter. Latham down the ground. That's a magnificent shot for Latham to start.
shot there by Latham. From Roger Wickramasinghe to right. And he's going again in the air through mid wicket. And that's it well too by John Wright. That's his third four. Oh dear me, that came back. Good shot. Beautifully timed, that's four. Four runs. Oh, lovely shot. That was a beautiful stroke. That's right, it is very best. They won't stop that. That's four runs. Good to see they can run forever in a day and he will catch up with that. And look for Massino, the bowler. This is four more. No fine leg. You pay the penalty if you stray down leg. 26. Yes, Mahanama. John right down the wicket. He's tried to hit it over the top. He's just cleared Aravinda De Silva, who's after it. And that'll be the 50 up for New Zealand. A slightly streaky shot from John Wright. He gets away with it, but New Zealand bring their 50 up. bit of turn here and that'll be four that'll run away to the vacant third man boundary and the outfield's pretty quick here it's a bit deceptive once it gets out there it tends to just run on a really gentle little run in from Kapalgi and that's four more oh lovely shot that'll be four no question about that. Yeah. Driving, that's a good shot. Oh, and he beats the fielder out there. That was going just too quickly for Gersinger. Driving down the ground, and that's his 50. Right, just brings it up with a lovely stroke. It's his 24th one-day 50 for New Zealand, and his second, his third, in fact, in World Cup. Oh, that's bowled in. Poor shot from Latham. Didn't move his feet at all. Played a nothing shot, really, and it's got through his defence. Latham out for 20. New Zealand have lost their first wicket at 77. John Wright goes next. He's hit it in the air, but he's hit it safely in the gap between mid-wicket and long line. He's got four. Place to perfection by John Wright. And he's gone through to 55. And he's out, John Wright. He's caught and bowled. Caught and bowled by Kelpajay. Century maker of the first game. Away. Oh, he could be caught. He is caught. Martin Crow is caught. Well, yeah. that is a bit really a body blow for New Zealand. A rank long hop. And it does just shows you how these bad balls can get wickets. He hit it straight down. Uh, is it Champaka Ramanaja? I think it was down there at deep fine leg. Rutherford joins Jones and put up a solid 81 runs partnership for the fourth wicket. Andrew Jones hits it well enough and gets it down to long on to four. Big hit by Rutherford. And six. Just made it over the boundary. That's nicely driven by Jones. That's through. And the result was four runs. And Andrew Jones goes for the big shot and hits it very well for the extra cover boundary for four. He's got hold of this one and he said it well. That's exactly four. Good shot. And short again. Pulled away just over the head of Guru Singer. And it races away for four more. Pulling it away, Ken Rutherford. It wasn't too far from the outstretched hands of Guru Singer, but it uh, went away for four. And just picking it up, Ken Rutherford. And a misfield out there that'll run away for four. Well, that was a clumsy piece of building. Carl Pichet down there behind square. That's sloppy stuff. for OBW. He might be close. Umpire reporters looks at it and says, well, how can I give you that? Because I couldn't see it. It's in the air. He's caught. Jaya Siri has got it. So, 
Jones is gone. Harris joins and stayed with Rutherford till the victory. As high, wide, and heads him over mid wicket for a magnificent four. That's so easy for his 50. A magnificent strike to complete a very fine innings from Ken Rutherford. His 13th one day 50. Yep. Well, that's through the gap, and that's going to go all the way because there's no one sweeping now. And Rutherford, once he got it through, he had enough pace on the ball to take it all the way. So it brings Mr. Reporter into action again. One run required by New Zealand. And Rutherford lifts it. And that is the winning runs hit by Ken Rutherford. And Rutherford, the man of the match, takes off. As is a scramble goes on out of the middle. But well batted Ken Rutherford and New Zealand win their second match. New Zealand first wicket stand of 77 between John Wright and Rod Latham laid the foundation for the victory. Wright batted 89 minutes and hit 9 fours. Even though skipper Martin Crow out cheaply vice captain Andre Johns built 81 runs partnership with man of the match Ken Rutherford guide New Zealand to the victory. Jones got out one short from his half century, but he batted for 106 minutes and scored four boundaries. Star of the show Ken Rutherford got a life when he was on duck. Arjuna dropped him off the delivery of Premadia Wickramasingha. After that life he never looked back and scored his third World Cup 50 with six fours and one massive six. Altogether Sri Lankan fielding was not up to the mark to defend such low score at all. They were able to maintain a disciplined bowling this time by giving only three no balls and three wides but they struggled to get breakthrough in regular intervals. So, with this win New Zealand secured their table top position. Even with the lost Sri Lanka was at number 4 due to their low net run rate margin. So with this defeat Sri Lanka team fly back to Australia to meet their neighbouring India for their next encounter.